What does it matter that you're a leader? What does it matter that you might have people that are responding to you, reacting to you, that they're looking up to you? Leviticus chapter 4 gives us a little bit of indication of what that means. Leviticus chapter 4 is kind of tough for me because I'm a pastor, I'm a husband, I'm a father, and there's a significant number of people that look to me for spiritual advice. And what the Bible says is so clear. He says, if an appointed priest sins, verse 3, bringing the guilt offering on the pe- bringing guilt on the people, he must bring to the Lord a young bull without defect as a sin offering for the sin he committed. Verse 22 says, when a leader sins unintentionally and does what is forbidden in any of the commandments of the Lord, he is guilty. They are singled out as a priest or a leader. And why he's singling them out is because he says, look, if you're leading other people, your sins have a greater effect. You're leading people in the wrong direction. Even if they don't know about your sin, your spirit is going to be wrong. You're not going to be able to hear from God. You're not going to be sharp. And people suffer because of your sin. You're not following through. Now, when I think about that, it makes me a little sick to my stomach. I think, wow, (laughs) why did I get into this? No, I don't ever think that. I I know God's called me, and God's called you to whatever leadership you have. But honestly, James tells us that we have a stricter judgment when we are leading other people. And we need to be careful. Now the truth is, God doesn't want you to bring a bull or a goat or anything like that. You have the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And under his blood, we claim 1 John 1, 9 every day. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But with that cleansing, we need to pray that we're not going to redo those same sins. Because when we do, not only do we pay a price, but other people do too. Why don't we pray today that God will keep us faithful to Him. That the thoughts of our heart and our mind glorify Him today.